is Diane Richardson. I teach for the Kankakee School District in the Montessori building. I teach 7th and 8th grade math and social studies. And I am Angela Anders, also Kankakee School District, Montessori, um, and I teach the science in ELA. I've always been, even though I wasn't Montessori, I've always been a project-based um, educator. I feel that the kids, the students take a huge responsibility and the projects and their learning just soar because they have such an important role in their own education. So it's always worked very well for me. Well, my name is Joe DeVries and I go to school at the Kinky High School. We were all assigned multiple tasks to do and from the like, culinary arts and like restaurant designing, I chose making a water bottle in which like, I had to figure out any pros and cons of having or making a water bottle and where I would sell it, having advertisement, and what goes into the water bottle, like the metal, plastic. Um, I'm Micah Thomas and I go to Kankakee High School. Well, it's the learning of how to make a website because we learned how to make a website and that really like, that was really interesting to me because I've never made a website before so it was like really fun. And they're also able to be creative. So by being project based, they're not regimented to certain guidelines. They can throw their own creativity in it, and many of them just soar. It's just unbelievable when you can take the content, standard-based content, and then add their creativity, and every single one is different. Um, my name is Janera Walters, and I'm the superintendent of Kankakee School District 111. I think that a lot of um, people um, across the nation, they feel that schools are failing, but they're really, the, what schools are failing to do is prepare students for the jobs that exist today. But if you think about when schools were, were uh, when public schools uh, first started, it was actually very innovative. It, um, this school system was preparing students for jobs that existed at that time during the Industrial Revolution. Well, we continue to do that, but the Industrial Revolution is gone. So now we're in the digital age and we're preparing students for the Industrial Revolution. So in my mind, in order to prepare students for um, jobs that don't exist yet, they had to have certain skills. They need to be able to collaborate, they need to be able to problem solve, um, they need to be able to um, kind of identify problems in order to problem solve, and I feel like paper pencil activities and the traditional way that we um, were instructing students and students were learning was not what we needed to prepare students for the digital age. So in, in my mind, student engagement is the beginning of, of changing the expectations of the adults as well as the expectations of the students. So I started in May of 2014, but in April I had the opportunity to talk to all of the teachers in the district in a um, forum where they were all together at the same time. And so then I told them that our goal would be to increase student engagement. So what I was looking for is for us to move from the lecture style, particularly in the secondary classrooms, move from lecturing to projects and more interactive learning. So I was just very clear, this is our goal. This is going to be our hedgehog concept, is student engagement. Last year, one of their STEM projects, for example, that they were doing was the culinary artist and the vision that each one of the students did was different. My name's Adelaide Young and I go to Kankakee High School. I'm Maylene Gaetan and I go to Montessori Magnet Fine Arts. I had to produce a newscast, a newspaper article, a multimedia presentation, and a brochure. And I learned more things about how food gets transferred to one place to another to make the food. Um, I, I like being able to do the research and learning about how to make your food healthier and more about the restaurant business, I guess, because I had to do research on like what it takes to like run a restaurant and what kind of stuff you should have that would attract a public. And so it was cool to learn kind of how all that happens, because you don't really know, like you just go to a restaurant and you eat, and you eat food, you don't really think about um, what work goes into it. So it's kind of cool learning about that. And it opens up the students to all the possibilities. So if I liked the newscasting, like what are all the careers that are um, related to that skill set? And so that students are opening up their, their minds to not just the traditional jobs that they're exposed to, but other jobs that, that either exist or don't exist. I, I think that right now people are saying that we, um, they think that those jobs that are just temporary jobs like Uber, 
know, those are the kinds of jobs that will exist in the future. And so our students are starting to think about things that they could create that would, would um, bring in resources for their family. Even within the products themselves, so each one has like five products within it that they do. And some of them will say, oh, I loved doing this part of the project, um, the design aspect right now with some of them designing their crew vehicle. They love the design part of it, but they didn't like having to do the multimedia presentation Correct. or something. So then they know that in their career path, it may be something that has to do with design and not necessarily presentation of right. items. Or even the um, one person was stronger on the actual paper and pencil aspect of the design, the scale model, but then the other person completely ran with how they were going to put that together and make it come alive. So just even seeing that was amazing and um, it's not that cookie cutter process for them. So we at the seventh and eighth grade level, we kind of push it out and let them run with it and it's amazing to see the products that they're coming up with and the materials that they're using because we have materials available for them but they are still bringing materials in on their own and it's just amazing you're going to be so impressed with their products and what literally i think brought tears to our eyes last year is looking at some of these projects some of our most quiet reserved students when they're working on these projects you just see a whole nother side to them. I mean, there was one, the girl did a newscast, and it was incredible, and this girl rarely speaks in class, but to see her having filmed a newscast and do the background like CNN with the breaking news and the ticker across the bottom, and to see that side of her and know, wow, this is, right. you know, she may be quiet in class, but wow, you know, she's gonna go far in life. She found the program that she was able to do that, and um, in her own space, she um, had somebody record her. So she was so comfortable, but amazing, absolutely amazing.